Welcome to the 2011 Sundance Film Festival and the Honda Power of Dreams Studio. Hi, I'm Amir Halim here at Sundance Channel HQ in Park City. Mixing memorable characters into a straight up buddy action comedy, The Guard looks like it could be a Sundance crossover hit from overseas. The vessel we are looking for is a 60 foot ship called the Annabelle Lee. We lost track of it three weeks ago when it left the Dominican Republic. Now, the DEA believe it to have somewhere in the vicinity of $500 million worth of cocaine on board. Street value. Excuse me? Street value. You lads are always announcing a seizure of drugs worth a street value of $10 million or half a billion dollars. I do always wonder what street it is you're buying your cocaine on, because it's not the same street as I'm buying my cocaine on. <laughs> That's enough now, Boyle. Joining me today are John Michael McDonough, the writer-director of The Guard, and the stars of the film, Brendan Gleeson and Don Cheadle. John, I'll start with you. Um, we called it an action buddy cop movie. We can also add culture clash comedy. How would you best <laughs> approach the film? Well, it's more of a very edgy, confrontational black comedy than an action <laughs> comedy, really. In kind of in selling the film, telling people what it's about, it's yeah. like, well, it's kind of like in Bruise. That's the sort of the tone, the right. dark comic tone. Right. And people know what you mean immediately. Right. So it's a good selling point, really. All right, well, let's turn to Sergeant Jerry Boyle, a.k.a. Brendan Gleeson. Uh, tell me uh, what attracted you to this project in particular. Oh, the whole script just jumped off the page and grabbed me by the throat and beat me around the room, really. <laughs> <laughs> it, was, uh, it, it was beautifully observed and really original, and the character was to die for. What about you, Doug? Uh, the rhythm of the piece, the music of the piece, I hadn't read, read anything like that. And the opportunity to actually shoot it in Ireland and in that, that part of the country, which is so underutilized, was, was, was a great opportunity. What was it like offset? How did you guys get along in terms of, because your characters have friction, so. I mean, you know, as Don said, the, the, the landscape, the place, the sense of place is very important. So we were as hostile as possible to him. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, it was, uh, it was fantastic. You know, when I heard Don was doing it, it was just, the whole thing kind of bumped up a notch. In terms of issues of race, uh, does the film touch on that? It steps on it and it twists yeah. it. It's a boot in its neck. And then when you, when you think it stops, it comes back again and okay. keeps going again. Right. Yeah. Did you grow up in the projects? What? Did you grow up in the projects? No, I did not grow up in the projects. It might surprise you to learn, Sergeant Boyle, that I actually come from a very privileged background. And by privilege, I mean prep schools, Yale. I was a Rhodes Scholar. Privileged background, huh? Some in the Hamptons, skiing in Aspen, that kind of thing. Skiing, yeah? I thought black people couldn't ski. Or is that swimming? It's really non-PC, yeah. and it's deliberately so because it's provocative. But actually, in the end, it's really just a tease to see what the reaction is going to be. It's basically anyone who's not like you. Right? <laughs> <laughs> Your equal opportunity. Yeah, that's right. Everybody gets equal opportunity, yeah, equal opportunity yeah. bigotry. Yeah. 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 Something like that. Yeah. <laughs> What was it like in the theater itself? What was the atmosphere like? Don, you were telling me you get nervous at these screenings, even after all these years in the business. We really felt good about it, and we knew that we had something that was going to play, we thought. But then you've always got to, you know, trot it out and right. let, see, let people see how they respond to it. You just don't know. You never know until the audience is in the room. And Sundance, for me, I, I was over the moon about it because I kind of felt, well, I know that they want to make the leap. And if you get just, that's all you need is just a little willingness to, you know, to jump in. And I knew that was going to happen in Sundance. And it did last night, so fantastic for me. Don, Brendan, John, thank you very much for being here. Good luck with the guard. Thank you. Thank Thanks you. a lot. Cheers. I'm Amir Halim, I'll see you next time here at Sundance Channel HQ. For more info on all the films featured inside the Honda Power of Dreams studio, go to SundanceChannel.com.